And in fact, I found out that um, Islam um, in the 7th century already spoke about natural selection. In Arabic, the name of Muhammad, uh, Muhammad's got many names, but one of the most important names is Mustafa. Mustafa in Arabic means he who was selected. And the idea is that since the time of Adam, the first human being, God selected from every generation the best of all the descendants of Adam. So there was a, some kind of natural selection, one generation after the other. Until at the end, he selected the best of the best of the best of the best. And this is the Prophet Muhammad. And he chose him to give him his word, the exact word of God, and of course selected him to be the prophet that will bring to humanity the finest of all revelations. This is Islam. Now, Islam is not a religion in the ordinary, simple way of thinking. Islam is a culture which comprises everything. And most of all, it is a culture based on revelation, and it is a culture which is based on a legal system. It is basically a legal system. It is a legal system which comprises everything. It comprises the life of the individual. It comprises the life of the society. It comprises the state. That's one thing. Secondly, it is a world religion. It's not like Judaism, which is not a world religion. It is connected with the chosen people, and it's only for them. And it's not connected with the territory of the world. It's connected with one small country. Islam is a world religion connected with the world, and it, is one, it, wants, to, it wants to 